The Winston Cup Series back the haulers into Atlanta Motor Speedway this morning, getting ready for some hot action. Stop number four on the Winston Cup Series season. Let's take a look at these points. Jesus Christ, after three of 30 races. In the points lead, Jimmy Hendricks there, 33 points behind, and uh, you see all these other names. But Tangus Wiener Jr. started the season 840 points on the hole. We, we figured out what that number was, and he's lost 57 points since then. <laughs> but right now, without the handicap, he's 52 points behind Jesus Christ. So what Tangus Wiener needs to do is get to the top of the standings if the handicap didn't exist. And then that number just, uh, his number will always go down because he's ahead of everybody in the standings, you know. That's the whole point of the handicap, that he, he's eventually going to be at the top of the standings without the handicap all season. And it's just a matter of him just whittling that down. It's math, folks. Tango Spooner Jr. just got off a of pit road. He's coming through one and two, cranking up these horse, the horsepower, getting ready for his first of two qualifying laps at this massive speedway in Hampton, Georgia. The fans going wild as Tango comes out of four. There should be fans in the stands. If uh, PBS Sports, uh, we think we figured out how to get fans in the stands in the replay footage. So the, the, the stands should be packed. Tango, this first lap, he's just, he's, he's just getting a hold. Just going to, yeah. He's just trying to, yeah. There we go. He's concentrating, folks. He needs to get a 30.4-ish. This first lap won't be a 30.4-ish. Probably going to be 30.7. But this is the money load. Or the money lap here. <laughs> this is... His hot lap brought to you by Oscar Mayer Hot Wieners. That first lap was a 30.716. All right, he stayed off the apron coming out of two. He's got a good... He's going like Mach 3 down the backstretch right now. Now he's just got to concentrate... And hit his marks here through three and four. Not get too squirrely. Not hit the apron, idiot. Oh, folks. <laughs> oh, 30.7. Six, eight, folks. Top four in the Winston Cup Series season brings us to Atlanta, Georgia, Hampton, Georgia, more specifically. Uh, four, or we're at Atlanta Motor Speedway. I should practice these intros. This is the Pure Later 500, only on PBS Sports. Let's take a look at this starting grid brought to you by 1900 Fun Babes. Mona Lisa on the pole with a 30.359. Andy Dufresne up there. My cat again. Up there, P4. Uh, some new names up there, uh, I think. Wonder Woman, she hasn't been starting top 10 in a while. Abraham Lincoln, a big points name, starting P11. Gene Hackman, he was up there in the points uh, when we looked at the points before the race there. <laughs> He's <laughs> P12. Uh, Christopher Columbus, but yeah, a lot of the big names, we aren't finding them yet. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. down there starting P22. Ben Bailey making moves, P19. Um, but... Yeah, it's going to take a while for you to find Tango in the uh, starting grid, folks. He's back there. Dead last starting P39. Two seconds off, or like pretty much three seconds off what he wanted to do there. Or th <laughs> not uh, three tenths. Not three whole seconds. That'd be insane. Uh, make, but the good news is a lot of the big point names are back here starting in the bottom, you know, 10, 15 positions. Jesus Christ, the points leader, starting P32. Where was Jimi Hendrix, folks? P28. He's there in uh, row 14. And the crowd's going wild. Let's get this going. Pitter patter, let's get at her. The back of the field getting really bunched up. Tango, just <laughs> hold on to her, Tango. But then take advantage of these computer people. The Pure Later 500 underway here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. These engines cranking up the speed. Tango back there, I don't even know if we're showing him. Like, why would we show the last place driver? You know, of course he's our broadcast partner, but he's the turd of a flea. You know, he's not important in this race. But 
but if you're watching the in-car camera there, he's, he's probably going to be giving you some hot action. He's got to find his way through this field. Just really devastated by his with his qualifying uh, effort. He's got to make sure not to take out Pocahontas. These cars at Atlanta love diving down into turn three. He's got to be. He's got to remember that. We got a we got a pit window here in the twenties, early twenties. Should give us three hot pit stops. He's uh, Tango's. Just, he's trying to keep Jesus Christ. In his sights. Jesus is up there, four or five cars ahead of him. He's the points leader right now. Tanka really wants to get ahead of, you know, the whole field in regard to the handicap system that we discussed at, on, at, the, uh, at the top of the broadcast. I'll tell you what, Tanka usually feels overmatched in the early goings of these races, but he's making moves here. I mean, he's... he's it sounds like he's, he's singing on the radio. He feels comfortable. Great stuff. We do have a smoker up near the front of the pack, I believe, folks. Got a car down low. Yeah. Just heard a call out. <laughs> I'm watching the race, folks, but just heard a call out. Someone's going out pit road. Looks like that's Casey Kane, the big red machine. Heading down pit road. His day is most likely over. He started up near the front, obviously. I believe. No, yeah, Mona Lisa Vito. Or, no. <laughs> Just Mona Lisa. I gotta get out of that habit. Mona Lisa. I had to pull this race, I believe. She's still out there in the lead. No. Oh. Well, Tango just warned us. Tango just said, hey, these cars dive down into the turns after the hot, after the hot straights. And apparently he didn't, or no, wait a minute, I said that, right? <laughs> I, I can't remember. Or we told, or I don't know. <laughs> Either way, Tango just took out the Statue of Liberty. Now, you got to start thinking if, if Tango Spooner Jr.'s a misogynist pig. Because let's look at the facts of the case this season so far. Who's he taking out? Mary Poppins. Mona Lisa at Rockingham. And he just took out the Statue of Liberty. All women, in case you haven't uh, made that connection. So, something to keep an eye on. Tango... Maybe a sexist. But we'll send it down to him here on the back stretch, see what he's thinking. Oh, he almost gets in the rowdy birds. Or no, we'll send it to him on the front stretch. You know, there's a lot going on right now. Want to make sure he concentrates through three and four, doesn't take out Jesus. Or Jesus is not a woman. You don't have to worry about taking him taking Jesus out. Anyway, here you go, Tango. Thanks, Andre. Yeah, thanks. Just in time for this friggin' wreck. Where are we at here? Where are we at here? Stay up top? Okay, good. What a survival. Jesus, Andre. <laughs> okay. That's big, man, surviving that. Had nothing to do with taking out Lady Liberty, though, so that's good. Yeah, Casey Kane definitely... Uh, Hanging out on pit road now. There's Statue of Liberty coming out of pit road. Sorry, lady. That car in front of you is four position. Who was that? Um, I can't remember who the that first car was. I know that was the Ninja Turtles that I I sc scampered by on the high side. Oh no, that was the Clifford the Big Red Dog. I think I just saw him on. Pit Road. Alright, I'm 1.1 ahead of John Smith right now. I'm anxious to see if we're halfway through this run, essentially. I'm anxious to see what
what this AI, what these cars are doing here. Hell, didn't gain any, or uh, gained two tenths on who on Megan the Stallion in front of us. Didn't gain any time on uh, John Smith, so or maybe one a tenth or something. This is great. As long as that wasn't a big drastic change there, that means we're kind of we're in good shape here. I'm wondering if anybody else got involved in that. I'm going to experiment, probably with this race especially, because, I don't know, um, I think, I mean, the, 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 one of the most exciting, um, parts of the races can be, you know, coming across a wreck and, and seeing me trying to drive through it and everything, so I do always want to keep my cockpit up as the big picture whenever I'm, whenever there's a wreck. So I'm probably gonna have to make a quick change. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. But obviously that's, uh, I, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Yeah, and hopefully, as Andre said. Oh, this is great little difficulty here. I've been, I've been, uh, Dipping between 1.5 and 1.7, catching up to this next group. John Smith's hanging out just one second behind me. This is great. Um, yeah, as Andre said, hopefully the fans are actually in the stands. And that's just a matter of... I was thinking I was going to have to go into each track file and change all of the empty grandstands to full. Like, the images that the track file reads. But instead... I'll save the replay, and then whenever you load it, you just go to a quick race and actually start a race, but then go into the replay and load your previous replay, and it just grabs from whatever whatever the crowd is from the current session that you're in. If it, it doesn't sound, it's not as confusing as it sounds. So, we're in good shape, and I'm really closing in on them, yeah. So yeah, who knows? Maybe starting way back here was a godsend. Oh boy, I closed on them fast here in these last few laps. Mona Lisa Vito in the lead. We have another smoker, man. Lap 18. I wanted to keep those standings up to see who's uh, out of the race. Yeah, Ninja Turtles, Lady Lady Liberty, Clifford, no surprise there. And Casey Kane out. And is that... Okay, so Clifford was beat up, came back out, and then he... <laughs> I guess was overheating or something. And so he's done. And this, this next group of cars is really lined up, making me think... They're behind a slower car. But pit stop should be coming very soon. I'd say this lap or the next. I'm just going to hang back, see what their their pit road entry looks like. All right, pit stop. Okay, they... Man. That's a late move. I'm going to take it. I'm going to gain some spots during these pit stops. Given how much that whole gang, that whole gaggle of cars got slowed up a little bit. They're not really, just Gene Hackman. 
So Gene Hackman behind me. We'll keep that in mind. But we got Owen McDonald in, in front of us. Who should be pinning right here. There we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. Put on my auto brake. All right, there's Mona Lisa, the, the leader, right? Man, hot action here. We got, what? I'm writing this shit down. Casey Kane, Smoke, and then Clifford. What's Clifford? 33, Smoke. All right, let's go. Go, 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 go. Watch your speed now. Keep it on 6,500. Watch your speed now. Keep it on 6,500. All right. Damn it, there's Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman came in behind us. So I'm not going to gain what I thought I was. All right, there's a whole bunch of leaders we're going to be tracking down. All right, let's behave here. Don't spin out. There's Wonder Woman. She started top ten. I don't know what that means that we're seeing her, but... There's somebody coming for me right now. Yeah, I don't know who that was. Looks like that's Dolly Parton. Oh, this is great. Man, this game. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, I'm driving pretty well right now. I'm really handling these turns. Oh, perfect. Another perfect turn. But they're they're too strong here early. Or Dolly Parton's clear, clear. she's on a mission right now. Clear. Is that Martin Luther King Jr.? I think so. I can't remember where he started. That's a big storyline. How he's starts at the back of the field and just always finds his way to the front. That's a good thing about this game is that these slow cars that have gotten beat up, beat up, they won't really slow down the rest of the field. They're not really off the pace. And we talked about that in the first season, how, like, if I get beat up, the the, the, the laps I'll go down on pit road, that's enough of a penalty that I don't have to just limp around the race, uh, uh, rip, limp around the track uh, the rest of the race. I can actually sandwich. run decent. <laughs> Fast That's 27 laps and, 78 uh, laps here in the pure later yeah, 500 stuff about the track for future races the and stuff. That's a great one little, tenth of a second way leader better than like a Mona Lisa dropped the two point situation where your whole a blanket <laughs> honest Abe up there again, my cat. It's just it's just a nicer we, solution to that. We're not showing any favoritism in the rating. Game. My cat just is dominant here early. Uh, going through six right, through ten, it's good to buckle down and catch Dolly. Jolene, Jolene. Hey, Dolly. Don't let Tango take you out there, man. Or woman. Anyway, I might, I might, I might start talking up Dolly Parton. Especially the young... Well, I, Dolly Parton's a nice lady. But especially that young Dolly Parton. The picture that we're using in the graphics here at PBS Sports. People forget. She was a babe. Like, just a, a bona fide babe. There's some nights, you know, I'll just be sitting on my computer and I'll think of her and I'll pull out my laptop and then... Andre! Actually, folks, hang on. I'm not going to commercial. we got a big wreck here. It was Lady Liberty. Something happened to Lady Liberty, folks? <laughs> that changes everything. Or maybe we didn't go to commercial. I don't know. That, hap that happened about 20 seconds after we, uh... 
decided to go to commercial. Lady Liberty may have been involved there. <laughs> Tango Spooner Jr. might be in, like, P2 right now. P6. And now we'll go to commercial, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Take a look at the standings on uh, in Tango's cockpit there. As we go to commercial, because <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do there. The girls write to me and say, Elvira, I love your dress and I'd like to get one for myself, but I seem to be missing a thing or two. And I always tell them, try doing about 50,000 hours of bust exercises, and if that doesn't work, just put the dress on backwards and pretend that you're Cher. Hey, all you couch pumpkins, grab your phones right now and call 1-900-909-1313. That's 1-900-909-1313. I'm dying to hear from you. Pick up the Rock Talk Guide at Tower Records. Welcome back, folks, to the running of the Sixes Pig 500 here in Hampton, Georgia at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Lap 38, a couple laps from pit stops. Tango Spooner Jr. on his, just, uh, he's on an island right now. And we got another wreck coming out, coming out of commercial. Coming out of turn two. It's the, it's the shit shit. Oh, okay. Tango, hang on. Just, 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 just. Figure out what you're gonna do here. Go low. Go low. Go, <laughs> go, low. go low. Go low. Okay, Tango, slow down, brother. There you go. Go low. Go low. All right. <laughs> Good job, Tango. You hopefully saw him navigate that uh, wreck. Oh God. <laughs> You probably, <laughs> you probably saw him navigate that wreck from the, uh, the lime wire blimp. <laughs> this is messing us up. We, we, I don't know what's going on right now. But Tango has to pit, I believe. 20, 40, 60. Tango's going to go in. And I don't know what's going on. Watch your speed, watch your speed now. Hopefully, hopefully we're able to show y'all the, all the hot action from these wrecks, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I'm just glad, and I bet NASCAR's glad too, that, you know, the wreck cleared itself up. Sometimes these wrecks at these big tracks can just result in a log jam on the track, go, go, you know. Go, go. Watch your speed now. Keep it on. So the big thing is that everything got cleared up. But, uh, what Tango wants, Tango wants to stay on an island. He doesn't want to get back into racing and just have all these clown cars around him that keep on wrecking, you know? And when he was on pit road, it sounded like the field passed him. So what he's trying to do is get out onto the track here and not have to deal with cars. All right, he's got a car coming up on him here. Andy Dufresne looks like he might be pitting. Stay up top, Andy, or yeah, Tango. Good job, Tango. That's that, that's a pro. That's somebody who, he, it seems like he's been racing for years, but he knew that. Usually a rookie driver in his fourth race in the NASCAR Western Cup Series doesn't know to do that. I'm, a, I'm actually curious to see where Tango shakes out here at the end of these pit stops. Raphael Barber heading down on pit road. So is that uh, OJ Simpson, I believe. And Tango has my cat in his sights. 1.6 seconds ahead of him. 35 laps to go. The leader is coming up on Tango. We just heard a call out on the radio, but that's probably a clown that hasn't pitted yet. The 36 car is a lap down. 
Yeah, just carnage here. A lot of cars a lap down from these wrecks being held up on the track. And if you remember at the end of season one, or the Ricky Rudd season, Ricky Rudd won the final race at Atlanta due to a long jam situation. And surprise, Tango finds himself racing Abraham Lincoln for position right now. Anyway, we'll send it down to Tango, see where he shakes out here after these after this nonsense. Yeah, thanks, Andre. Got a slow car ahead. I'm here, and I see. I didn't want to do this. I did not want to be. I did not want to have cars all around me. I loved just having that op those open planes, and now I gotta have. Or no, wait a minute. Or no, never mind. <laughs> I was thinking I used Atlanta as the uh, the the AI damage test track, you know. In my YouTube video I did six months ago, I was like, "Man, is this that track file?" But no, I, that was a random. When I when I started this season, I downloaded the clean version of the game itself from that what my website. So. So this isn't like some kind of bizarro Atlanta. I'll tell you what, I'm sitting. What am I? I'm only two seconds behind the leader here. When they get, I'm probably going to win this, which I will not mind at all. A worst to first day would be amazing. But at the same time, I'm not really worried about winning this. I'm worried about surviving wrecks in front of me. Because it seems to be a theme today. I haven't seen any of the wrecks, actual wrecks yet. Because we had what? We had one going to commercial. We had one going to commercial, and then we had one basically coming back from commercial. Which is ridiculous timing. But yeah, it happens. You know, cautions might solve some of this. I don't know. I just don't. I, uh, probably in that 2000 season, I'll venture run. We'll do cautions or something. But well, again, none of this is real. <laughs> just having fun. Twenty-eight laps to go. I have one more pit stop coming on lap sixty. Statue of Liberty holding everybody up. Who's number twenty-six? Oh, Queen Elizabeth. She's for the one. She's for the lead. Yeah. I think I'm gonna win this. Again, I have to survive these wrecks. I've already survived a couple. But Babe Ruth could spin out right now. But that difficulty was awesome there before it went to shit. That's so very promising. Yeah, let's just let's just get around Statue of Liberty. I think she's I think she caused that second wreck. Or the com the wreck before commercial. I don't know, I might not be able to catch Queen Elizabeth. Two point five. Unfortunately, I think in the last handful of laps, I'm gonna track her down. Uh, I don't care, man. I need wins. I need to get to the top of the standings and start chipping away at that points lead. And as, I've, <laughs> and as I've mentioned, if I've calculated this wrong or if I'm too good or I can, I don't know. At the halfway mark, I should be 420 points back of the leader with the handicap. So if I'm more or less or 
Mold will adjust for the second half of the season. They will be good. I mean, this could have been really bad, this race. So, I, I, I got lucky with some things. Yeah, I'm, I'm hanging out in the 2.4, 2.6 range behind Queen Elizabeth. I'm really gaining ground. It's awesome. Is that the only parting again behind me? Man. Honest A behind me in P3. I'm trying to get his, a win, finally. He's always been... He's been challenging for a few wins. Yeah, I just gained four tenths on Queen Elizabeth at the end of the run, so that's a problem at the end of the run, but looking forward to fixing all that eventually. Poseidon evolved in a wreck somewhere. Didn't gain anything on Queen Elizabeth there. She's dealing with a lapper or something. There's Elmer Fudd coming up onto the track. Or no, Ninja Turtle. Excuse me. Point six just gained four tenths. Yeah, I'm just faster than them at the very tail end of the run. No question about it. And I, don't, I don't remember this being this big a problem in, see, in the Ricky Red season, so I think maybe the all the all the drivers being elite affects that or something i don't know that's the second or that was really noticeable at rockingham a little bit noticeable at richmond so it's a thing for sure and is queen elizabeth pitting we are going to be seeing pit stops here lap 60 Dolly Parton and Uranus out of the race. I saw, I came up on Uranus in the, uh, <laughs> in that one wreck after the commercial. Oh, man. All right, here we go. But I'm pitting. And then we're basically going to be in the same position in about in 17 laps where we're going to be tracking down Queen Elizabeth trying to get a win at the end of the at the end of the run. Hopefully she pits here so I can see how this no I'm going to see how fast she is how faster she is than me on pit road. Hell, even if we screwed up the pit window, <laughs> I'm, I'm still going to get, like, top 15. Yeah, a little bit of a lame duck race here at the end, but we're going to be tracking down Queen Elizabeth, hopefully. Go, 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 go. Watch your feet now. Keep it on 6,500. Keep it on 6,500. 6,500. Like I'm, yeah, I am a lap down right now. Okay, you're clear. Fit lane. Go, 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 go. But go, we're go, fine. Go. Motor brake is now shut off. Okay. 
All right, nobody coming up on me here. Excellent. Didn't want to deal with that Andy Dufresne thing from the first. Yeah. Got a full car down low. All right, here's our pit stops. Let's go. Need some, uh, need some good fast laps here. There's my cat. That's for position. That car behind me. Thank you, spotter. <laughs> okay, the leader is pitting now. I'm not, I, I can't remember how much time I gained on my cat after I passed him on that last run. He's got a full car in here. Now, who knows? Maybe some of these cars that got beat up, their pet windows got messed up where they get glitched out and they don't have to pit an extra time. So a win isn't a guarantee right now. Who says in front of me? I'd say it's OJ Simpson. Yeah. Oh man, there's Queen Elizabeth right there. How did I get such a good pit stop? I'll take it. You're now in the top 20. So unless there's a glitch out, I'm, I'm winning this thing. Yep. Beethoven. What? Oh, they must have been a lap down leader, not for position leader. Abraham, Le something happened to Queen Elizabeth, man. Or maybe she's going to get on her horse and get around Abraham Lincoln there. is a lap down. This is great though too, but it, <laughs> that I'm not around anybody. And I'm not going to be having to worry about that. I'm just in cruise control the rest of the way. I do want to get myself into the lead here eventually. There it is right there. Pocahontas was on pit road. I just passed her. And I'm 4.7 ahead of Abraham Lincoln. And that's probably going to be enough to get this win. All right. We'll just hang on to her here. All right, folks. Two laps to go here. Tango Spooner Jr. Just in cruise control. 4.9 seconds ahead of Abraham Lincoln. But he does have Christopher Columbus made a power move on him a few laps ago to get around him. And he's just making sure Christopher Columbus doesn't spin out and take him out. But you only, you only got one lap left, Tango. A well-deserved win, you know. Last lap now. To the man. Come on. You worked hard. <laughs> and you just want to sit down and enjoy some racing action. It's fun to get a win, even if it's by weird circumstances. Tango coming out of four. Christopher Columbus behaves. Tango with his arm out of the window there. <laughs> the crowd going wild. Tango gets his first win of the season. The folks down in the folks in Forktown, his hometown, uh, uh, you know, the police, uh, yeah, <laughs> the fire station putting on the siren. He's going to hang out on the front stretch, get ready for some hot donut action.
Right, looks like Tango learned a lesson from Ricky Redlight. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> there it goes beside. But, uh, of course, Ricky Red almost killed Dale Jarrett last year at uh, Darlington. Trying to turn around and do donuts and head on collision with Dale Jarrett. But there's the win for Tango Spooner Jr. Crowd going wild here in Hampton, Georgia. And hopefully it's a sign of things to come because the next time we're in Atlanta, it is the season finale. Where Tango might be wrapping up his uh, championship. Tango, don't beat up your car. <laughs> you got to race next week, brother. There you go, Tango. Hey, fun race, man. It's, <laughs> it's a game. Um, yeah, I led the 11 laps, got the win. Queen Elizabeth led the most laps. Mona Lisa, I gotta, I call, I, I heard myself even when I was editing calling her Mona Lisa Vito a couple times. OJ Simpson let it live somewhere, good for him, I guess. Pocahontas up there, I mean, I don't know. Um, this is just all luck. Like, this is all, but we're still seeing Abraham Lincoln. Queen Elizabeth's always up running well. My cat's always up there, I don't know. But, yeah, I don't know. Um, is what it is. Jesus ended up finishing P14. Martin Luther King, P19. <laughs> um, and then looking at where where Poseidon end up. Poseidon, Poseidon P32. He was involved. He was leading before that wreck going to commercial with uh, Lady Liberty, Statue of Liberty. And then coming out of commercial, Dolly Parton wrecked. And I think that was the one that took out. Yeah, it must have been took out. Uranus and <laughs> Rowdy Burns. I think Gene Hackman got collected in that as well, I want to say. And then uh, we saw the DNFs with uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog and Casey Kane the Big Red Machine. So, oh, I, I should have made them teammates. I don't know. I needed that Red Dog sponsorship for Clifford, though. Um, Alright, yeah. Sig Hansen finished P13. Good for him. And I don't know. Uh, I got nothing. Good win. Got to rack up these points. And thankfully, um, right now I'm two points ahead of Jesus. If um, we had, if we didn't have the handicap, I'm two points ahead of Jesus. So right now I'm two points out of the hole of the handicap. I'm, I'm probably going to be 838 points back if I've done the math correct. Um, which is great. So the, the, yeah, that's awesome. I don't know. I'm thinking ahead on how I'm going to show the points and shit. Anyway, that's it. Hey, thanks for watching. I don't know if you've noticed the, uh, upload schedule. It's going to be every 36 hours. Uh, so, uh, this is probably going up on July 15th at 5 PM. And then July, and then the 16th, 5 p.m. would be 24 hours. So then the next, that Darlington, the next video will be on the 17th at 5 a.m. And then the next race after that, Bristol, is the next day, but at 5 p.m. You get it. But then that's just to make sure I'm, it's a consistent upload schedule for you. But then once I settle in and I know I'm ahead of the game a little bit, I'll start most likely be pumping these out every day, bright and early, 5 a.m., because right now the, the the upload schedule and everything this season would end on August 16th. So with that kind of schedule where the second half will be just boom, boom, boom every day. But I don't know. All right, yeah. Still feeling good. No fatigue, no nothing. Uh, they, these does not take long at all to edit these, so it feels good. All right. Hey, thanks for watching.